Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm made a video in a couple of weeks. Now we're back. Uh, well, I'm making a video right right now. So my plans, my plans, right? So my my plans, right? So you're going to probably be wondering uh, what I've been doing or why I haven't uploaded. Because we have been making decisions, very decisions based on, you know, uh, things that is a benefit to time, right? You know, uh, what's, what's the way to put this? Like, this is this is a very thoughtful, very, you know, intelligent move, right? For people that think, nah, put it this way. Stamps, getting stamps cheap is going to come to an end, right? We all know this, right? We know that this is a common problem right now when it comes to selling cards on eBay. eBay fee is ridiculous on single single cards, right? So if you're selling a... Like, if you list this item on eBay, right? You list this item for £1.70. You're going to be people getting... I'm not going to pay £1.70 for that. That's too expensive. I'm not going to pay £2 for this sticker. Okay, right. If you want the sticker, go buy the tin for, say, £12. Go get the, the tin or the sticker out of the tin. Whatever, right? So, you come into a problem that makes these people not want to pay with their mind, right? They, You know, there's something that blocks them from paying for that item. Now, if it comes to a PSA 10, someone's going to pay £100. Someone's going to pay £30. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, PSA 9s right now are not worth anything, right? They're selling for £20 on eBay, 25 modern card, PSA 9, not worth anything. PSA cases are not worth anything. Now, what I'm going to do is the single stuff that I've got left is getting sold, right? Whatever, I'm, whatever sells, sells. Whatever doesn't sell. They've, I've seen a recent rise in eBay scamming and people scamming on eBay, right? People making out they didn't receive their item. You know, I don't want to be dealing with this. I can't be bothered to file fucking claims. Sending claims to Royal Mail is hassle, right? You know, you just ban the buyer, fucking give him his money back and move on, right? Because that's literally who it is. Now, the, there's some people that might, you might know that are scamming you and which is a fact. And then you have certain people that you don't know if they're scamming or not, right? Because they might have bought off you previously, right? So usually these people are the people that haven't or, you know, not these people, right? So, for example, like, I just got a sale while shooting the video, right? Now, this this card, for example, prime example, was on eBay, like, £1.65. I send this guy an offer for 10p, right? And he you know, buys it, he buys the card, right? Now, I've got to go find that card for, you know, the equivalent to making 20 pence, right? Because I got these stamps cheaper, right? I got these stamps cheaper. I picked up another 24 block of these uh, for cheaper. And then this, this is, what this is, right, is this is coming to an end. Now, the reason why it's coming into an end is because these stamps, once they're gone, yeah, they're gone, they're finished. We're all on barcodes, right? So there's no way possibly you're going to be able to get cheaper stamps Maybe only to Christmas time that they, you're going to be able to get cheaper stamps, right? Now, cheaper stamps makes a massive, a massive difference when it comes to selling single cards or whatever, or even selling a sign for item, and you can save 50p or a pound off the shipping just because you bought stamps cheaper, right? So we know that's coming to an end. So single cards is something that has always been like the go-to, like sick for profitability right like even just building a collection they're just sick because you can get rid of them rapid right you get rid of reverse hollows rears from the pack you can get rid of specific energy cards like theory energy because they're no longer made and there's people still playing with theory cards and whatever at home and you know you can still make you can still sell that stuff and and turn that into money which you can reinvest into buying cards to grade or cards just generally for a collection or whatever you want to do. So whatever you're doing, you've got to look at it this way. Now, I've been doing stocks over the last six months. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this in, right, is because I've made, um, like yesterday, I went up £85 yeah, on the stock market. Well, I, I went up £85 when I checked it, the last time when I checked it. Now, when I did check it and I went to bed, 
I was up 107, right, in one day. I was up 107. Now, there's people that might sit there and go, well, that, that's nothing, right? All right, yeah, it might not be. But considering when I've not even been doing this long and you get up 107, right, it's easy. This is my new, this is my easiest thing to pog on, right? Because I can just make money on it instantly and I'm not even having to do any work, basically, yeah? All I'm doing is buy the stock when the stock goes down, bap. The stock goes up, yeah, boom, we're making money, we're printing, right? Now, the thing is with it is 3D prints, like 3D prints, are more profitable, right? They're profitable. They're very profitable, yeah? You, you, can, you can print one item, sell it, you get your money back for the roll, you print another item, bap, you've got your money back, and you're instantly in profit. Pokemon cards, you buy a box... You're risking, you're gambling to get a good card, right? And then, you know, you rip a booster pack open and you lose money. So, it, you know, it's not like... The variables of opening a £4 booster to going on an online casino and doing £4 on £1 spins, you know that the £1 spins are probably going to pay more than the 4 quid booster, right? So, even like if you go play a game of bingo, 2 quid, you win £14, £15. Pound. Right, which I was fucking messing around with the other day, right? And I've been doing that for the last couple of six months. I've been making fucking, I made probably five, six, seven hundred pounds of playing fucking games online, right? Now, I'm not at a loss, right? I'm not at a loss, whatever, because I write it all down. I write everything down, right? Spent six pounds today, one fucking seventy pound yesterday. Do you know what I mean? Now I'm down, I'm up sixty four, right? So I'm up massive. I bought my fucking printer with that shit. Do you know what I mean? So, the problem is, with with the today's market, right, is single cards are fucked because people don't want to pay for them. The PSA 9s are not worth anything. So, I will still grade, but I won't grade near enough as I was in Because dividend stocks are legit sick, yeah? A sick. You don't know how actually good dividends are, right? You invest in a company because a company is, like, good, right? Like, you know the people on Dragon's Den. The people on Dragons then invest in other people's businesses. All they do is they do a little bit of work, invest in the p business, they take massive shares, but sell them and they make loads of money and they move on, right? So you buy shares in businesses, right? So I have four guys right now, as well as me, well, me and three other guys, yeah, all buying the same stock because they all listen to me because I was making out printing money. Told my mate to buy it. My mate was printing money. He says, oh, I found this one. What do you reckon to this one? I'm like, yo, we're buying that. That's a banger, right? So literally, it's me and my mate is literally sitting here searching stocks. We're printing money. Yeah? I can even show you, like, we're up. Like, yo, I'll show you one, yeah? Because I'm not going to show... I'm not gonna, I'm not going to publicly show everything on, on YouTube because, you know, what financial information, yeah, with, between somebody and someone else is completely private. Like, if you want to make... If you want to... Um, if you want to say, for example, uh, buy stocks, right, and you want a referral link, we get stocks free every month. Do you know what I mean? Free every month. So if you want to get in on what I'm doing, yeah, then email me. At the end of the day, you've got, you put in £51, right? 51 quid to start off with. We get three shares, you get a share, I get a share, next month rolls over, back we get a share, we get another share, right? It's it'd be printing, right? So... Basically, look, look on this one, look, I'm up £77, right, straight on this one, 113%, right, average share price buy-in, £4, right, and then this one, right, look at this one, this one, this is easy fucking money, this is, you know, this is easy money, yeah, right, and then on this one is, we're up 109, right, which is 14% gain, straight up, yeah, and, and this is why, what I'm doing is I'm selling all the single cards and I'm rolling all the money just into dividends, dividend stocks. I'm getting paid, yeah, I'm getting paid. And then that money, I can buy more assets with, yeah. I'm not even buying Pokemon, like, I'm, I'm looking at it, yeah. And I'm thinking logically, yeah, like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, these people in the UK are not buying these cards. In the US, the market's completely different. In the United States, yeah, the market is different. Right, it's people will pay thousand dollars for for a PSA Gengar. 
right? Now, you invest $1,000 into stock at 20% dividend yield, right? You're going to get what? You know, 100 pound, you're going to get 200 pound, right? You're going to get $200 off dividends, right? Off that in the hour ever long. That card you might have bought at 1,000 pound, they might fucking reprint that shit and it might go down. Do you know what I mean? But the stock might go down as well. There is a, there is a risk, yeah? There's a risk, but... You know, if you put all your money in the bank, you're never gonna be a bit. You're never gonna be rich. So you gotta be. You gotta play risky games. Yeah, you always play risk. Like investing in Pokemon's risky. Yeah, because there's no guarantee that the actual card will be worth anything, and it is no actual way that you might actually be able to sell it to someone else. Now, if you're trying to sell a PSA card, you've got to wait for a buyer. You might wait a year. You sell stocks on the market. You sell them instantly. You buy Bitcoin. You sell instantly. Right. So I'm not completely walking away from it, but there's people, yeah, like, trust me, this this is this is like it's not even it's not even difficult to do. Like it really isn't even difficult to do. Like we're up massive massively on these, yeah. And then there's like there was another one that I was buying, right? And then this one this one I'm up like forty two percent on already, yeah. So you know, we're actually we're smashing this. We're actually smashing it. Me and my mate are smashing this, right? Because these these other people uh, that we got on, uh, these other two guys we speak to, they was like, "Yo, we're we're getting on this, yeah." Because these men are just printing cash, right? But the, what we mean is we're printing money. We're printing money in the terms of we're thinking, yeah, like free share, yeah. Look, got a free share here, free share, yeah, for Mission, right? This is a house building company in England, right? And and this this valued stock here has valued at fourteen pound eighteen, yeah, fourteen pound eighteen. Got it for free, right? That was the first one we got. We have to do a referral, yeah, through the thing and uh, uh, through the site, right, uh, through the exchange. So you spend, let's say you spend fourteen pound on five booster packs, right? Fourteen pound. What, what's a booster pack now? Nah, four pound. Four eight twelve. So you can't even buy you my free booster packs. You could gamble on free booster packs, not get anything. I sent sent a card a guy a booster pack for eight pound, right? And he, he literally made out he didn't get it. And the reason why he didn't he said he didn't get it is because he didn't get he didn't pull anything good. So he could just say go on eBay, make out I didn't get my item, scam the guy, and you don't have to deal with none of these people. Like you you grade a PSA card like. You know, a Blastoise Hollow, PSA 10, right? You keep this in the cupboard for 10 years and you sell it, right? You know, it's 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 money and it is preserving the money and you're putting it in a case, right? But if literally, if you get a PSA 9 right now, you, you, you <laughs> can you even sell some modern cards? Like, you can't, some you can't even sell, right? Some is just a waste of time. You know, sometimes, like, grading is a waste of time. One of my subscribers literally said to me, he said, grading's a waste of time right now. Like, he literally said it was a waste of time. Do you know, he says, because people were sitting there watching the items, waiting for offers, waiting for discounts, waiting for you to send them constant offers. Like, I'm not sending offers anymore. I'm not doing it. I'm sitting on eBay. I'm not sitting through eBay. I don't, I've got, like, 50-something. I only sent that one guy a 10p offer today because it was just, like, whatever. I can't just get rid of the card, basically, yeah. But the amount of time that people are just sitting there waiting for discounts, I think I've got like, what, 50, 60 watches right now, 67 watches. I actually don't even care. Like, 67 watches, I'm not even bothered. Like, I'm not even sitting there watching them. I'm like, I don't even need to send these people discounts because at the end of the day, everyone's looking for a bargain to flip to sell to someone else. And it's just, you know, the stamps are coming to an end. So this is, this is my take on this right so let's just see what was what was the uh how long we actually been investing right i see what i mean we've been investing in this like bitcoin's dropped bitcoin's got massive massive potential again right because you know people don't actually learn what it's actually for right so for example uh vanguard is up all right so basically yeah so this is their portfolio time this is their portfolio, yeah? Your investments. This is Vanguard's portfolio, right? These are my investments, yeah? You see, my investments is absolutely smoking a Vanguard, yeah? And, you know, if if we were playing with massive money like that, you know, 
Look at my money weighted on return. 54% increase. Yeah? Now, when you show people numbers, right, people believe you when you show numbers. If you just turn around and say, oh, well, this is what I made and I made this, people are, are going to think you're lying, not believing, right? There's no profit in Pokemon. The is and the isn't. And this is why I'm going to say, like, if you buy a box and break a box down and then sell it, you, you'll be trying to, you'll be, you'll be recovering your money, right? If you get a bunch of cards off somebody for, say, like, £100, you know, or you buy a binder with Neo cards in, fucking, they don't know what they've got, you buy it and you sell them, you're going to make money, right? If you buy a load of vintage games off someone like red and blue consoles, pristine condition, you know a collector from down the road, he needs some fast money, he's going to sell, bam, you're going to make some money. Of course you are, right? So, at the end of the day... There is things to flip and there's things to hold and there's things to sell on a daily basis, right? But the problem is when people get this mentality in the mind, like the one seventy cop the one pound seventy card, the one pound seventy sticker, the one pound seventy, one pound nine. This is gonna be slimmed and slimmed and slimmed down to the point where you can't sell an item under two pound without making anything because the stamp price is gonna get jacked again. Do you know what I mean? So You've got all these variables that come into the, to the effect, like, you know, inflation. Inflation exists because governments print money, right? And most individuals don't save, yeah? So, you know, people don't save money, right? People, well, they don't save their cash, right? One thing to build in wealth is you have to save your money. You have to save some degree of money, right? Even if it's, say, 30% of what you get paid a year, right? You save 30% of that. Now, if you're strict with the way you are, you can invest that money and build that money up. Or you can invest every week, right? And then you build your portfolio up massive over, like, 10 years. And then, boom, you, you know, you're going to be minted, right? But if you sit there blowing all your money every week till you've got nothing left and you're not strategically planning with it, yeah? Like, people say, the first question, what usually what people do is, they say, what do you do? Well, I live life. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's that's what you do. You enjoy, you know, everyone always wants to know the job, occupation, what do you do, you know, and all this stuff, right? Like, I'm making this video, uh, you know, within the chance of, let's say, for example, right? You get paid, like I explained to this to my mate, right? So my mate sells vapes. He's a big vape vape seller, right? He, he's sick here. He's a sick salesman, right? He's like me. He's sell anything, right? He can sell legit anything. Now, I said to him, I said, if you're not making £12 an hour, like which is usually like the average wage from a, a normal standard job runner, if you're not making £12 an hour selling vapes or selling whatever items you're selling, yeah, you are not out racing a job. So usually our profits are better than a job. But you've got to remember, yeah, if you're not outpacing a job, you're not going to succeed like that. You need to have constant repeat customers that you can trust. And if you're a trustable individual where people buy off you and they support that individual, then boom, you're going you're gonna to make some kind of money down the line, right? Because even if you're not making money straight away, eventually you will start to make money. Like, for example... I made a print, right, on my printer, printed it, showed this guy, and he's like, this was, that shit, right? And showed another me, and then another me, he's like, yo, that's sick, I want, I want one, buy one of them. I was like, I'll have two off you, right? So I was like, right, so that's paid for that role, that's paid for that role, and I've covered my power. Then my other mate turned around and said, bam, I want one of them colours, you got this colour. I was like, well, now I can go buy a roll for that colour, print that colour, and get my money back instantly for the roll that I've just bought, Right? And I'm like, as soon as you get another sale, you, you're paying your printer off. Do you know what I mean? And then I got two more and I'm like, right, that's that 20, 30, 40 quid off my printer. Do you know what I mean? That's money off my printer. And it's just like, it's so easily scalable, right? Like you buy a booster box at 90 quid and you have to sell it for eight air because you can't sell it. The stores and LGSs and all these people run into, they have to sell product at a loss just to be able to get rid of it. Pokemon's fucked, Yeah. The sheer quality of the cards, right, out of the modern packs is a PSA 9, PSA 9, PSA 9, PSA 9, PSA 9. It's all PSA 9. Don't know what's going off. Yeah, I really even still think there's incompetent graders at PSA. 
the reason why is I'll show you um I'll show you a card I'll show you two cards and I believe the reason still why there's incompetent individuals that work at PSA it's just it's just ridiculous it to all fairness yeah because these guys these guys right still make the fucking rookie mistakes right because you know if you're still here in the video right I'm gonna whip a card out. Right, whip a card out. I got back recently, right? Not uploaded the video yet. Uh, I'm going to show you this because I think it's like this is a definitely a rookie, a rookie error, right? So this card has an NFC chip in the back of the card, right? So this is this is not a defect on the actual item with an NFC chip, and then they graded the card an eight, right? So it's only the only flaw that's wrong with the card, and they graded it an eight. So I'm like, this is definitely down to incompetent grading. Like this is this is people that are looking at cards that they have no clue on actually what they're looking at, and the amount. Of, I mean, I'm even surprised that this one's actually labelled a hollow, not a non-hollow. Right, it's my video. Right, if the video gets no comments, I believe obviously no one gives a shit anyway. Right, so you know what? F fuck it, I might not even upload another video. I don't know, um, but. At the end of the day, right, if you want to join the stock thing and you want to make money on stocks, send me a fucking email, right, and then I'll send you a referral link and I'll tell you what to do, right, or if you want to fucking chat with me or whatever, right, I'll give you my fucking information where you can fucking ring me or something, do you know what I mean, and then I'll just chat to you over the phone or whatever, but thanks for watching the video and I'll see you next time, see you in the next one, peace.